Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and today Ford unveiled the 2021 Ford Raptor. Yeah, it's back, it's been changed, it's pretty cool, it has no V8. So, wait, oh, hold on, before you fire off in the comments, I know it has no V8, I know we were all suckered in and let, misled by the spy videos I've been putting out, spy photos, I feel terrible too, I lied to you guys, I got the information wrong, but it was all in good fun. Ford really wanted to see how many people thought it was a V8, and they really want to show off their new exhaust note. So in this video, I'm going to kind of tell you what's new in the Ford Raptor. I'm going to give you my five reasons why not having a V8 is not a, as big of a deal as the forums, the Facebooks, the Twitters, the TikToks, the comments below will make it out to seem. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's take a look at this. This is the new F-150 Raptor. I'll put it on the screen. This is their new, what's cool, is new five-link rear suspension. They have more additional ground travel than they've had in the years past because um, the new suspension setup, it's going to ride better and you can get available 37 inch tires as well. So lots of uh, ground clearance, additional ride as far as wheel travel. And they basically took an F-150 and restyled it with the Raptor kind of front end. So it's the new kind of truck front fascia and it's just got the changes. It's got the amber lights that it's going to have because it's such a wide vehicle. Um, looking at the back, you can see it's, it's got Raptor along the back and it's got the cool graphics. There's a couple new graphics packages, so it's a pretty cool looking truck. There's also the uh, 2.0 kilowatt power on board on this, so you can plug in the truck in the back and ha have some power. Um, <laughs> they, do, they do jump it and have a lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, and the inside, and I'll see if we can't get to the inside here in a second in another video, but the interior is basically a luxury trim of an F-150. You have the fold down uh, shifter, you have the workspace. They did those kind of features to do that interior. Looking at this interior a little bit more, I also have the one pedal driving. So this is much like an EV car. You hit the throttle, it goes forward, take your foot off the throttle, it brakes. So it's really nice when you're trail driving to just use one pedal operation. There is over the air updates as well with the SYNC 4. So like I said, you basically take the F-150 and you put it into a Raptor is what you're looking at there. And it, like I said, it, it should be it should be pretty cool. It, it definitely has the cool look to it. It's got the cool factor to it. So that's what that is. Now, I know what you're saying, like, oh my gosh, how can you know that look so cool and be so awesome and not have a V8? Well, there's a couple things here Ford's doing, which I think is pretty interesting. First of all, um, I remember driving the first or the second generation Raptor in Brago Springs, and I was one of the first media to drive it, and they were like, hey, what do you think? And I said, well, I said two things. I said, number one, it's really expensive. And it still is. Number two, the exhaust note isn't as good as it could be. And that's going to turn a lot of people off. And well, Ford took notes. So they have a new exhaust note, which I'll play here on the screen a little bit. And you can hear it as it drives around. So for me, that's kind of a compromise, right? So you don't have to worry about the big V8 as far as weight, and I'll talk about this in a little bit, as far as weight and fuel economy, but you get a really good exhaust note, a better exhaust note. So I feel like that's a kind of a, they kind of met halfway. And so let's talk about that. So one of the things Ford talked about, and they've talked a little bit more about, is power to weight ratio. So yes, this is gonna be always comparable to a Ram TRX, but if you look at the, the weight of these trucks, you know, the F-150 Raptor from, or the F-4 Raptor from 2020, I had it weighing about 5,500 to 5,600 pounds curb weight when I did a Google search for it. Now, they did drop the super cab. They only have this crew cab. So I expect weight to be about 5,600 pounds. The Ram TRX, it's almost 1,000 pounds no more. It's 6,400 pounds heavier. And so, yeah, you have a bigger V8, but you have a lot heavier truck. And so now you have a lighter, v lighter truck with a V6. And so it's pretty interesting, the power to weight ratio, which is something that's talked a lot about in sports cars. You know, you want to have a low curb weight, lots of horsepower, 
and lots of torque in an engine. It's basically the, the sweet spot there. The other sweet spot here is talking about fuel economy. If you've watched any of the videos I've done or Jill's done on the TRX, you know fuel economy is a kind of a big issue with the Ram TRX. And I don't, it doesn't really bother me too much because you know, you're gonna buy that $90,000 truck, you're not really worried about fuel so much, but sometimes maybe you are. And it's the higher octane fuel as well. So I anticipate this being the same thing. This high output equals to the same high octane fuel. But my point here is, is that the fuel economy should be better in the Ford Raptor than his TRX. I mean, we had one in Chicago and uh, Joe got 4.7 around town. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Um, another couple things is that as Jill points out, she's got a couple articles here and I'll pull these up. If you go to uh, pickuptrucktalk.com and I will uh, put it on the website, she did a pretty cool thing where she did a Raptor, Raptor, TRX comparison. So she's got the 2020 Raptor, 2021 Raptor and the TRX side by side. And when you go through this article, it's pretty cool where she talks about the different features and a couple things she talks about as I get down to it are kind of pricing, we've kind of thought about pricing. So, you know, the Raptor was 53 to start. So it's a cheaper truck than the TRX and it's got a bigger gas tank. This is what's really interesting is, is, is they took a 26 gallon from the 2020 Raptor and now made it a 36 gallon tank. So I'll put a link below on this, on the video for this article. But so you have a bigger gas tank. So you have a bigger gas tank, you have a lighter truck, which, and then you get better fuel economy out of that V6. So that means you have more range. So that's really good for like the desert. So if you're driving in a desert a lot and you're off-roading a lot, you want more range. You don't want to be going driving, camping and driving all day and driving to the gas station back and forth trying to keep your truck fueled up. And so they expect 500 miles of range, which again, I'm talking pro and con. Yeah, I still would like a V8 for myself and I'm going to get to where that's going to come in. But I do like the fact that I have more range so I can play longer all day long. I have a better power to weight ratio and I do have a better exhaust note. So I kind of satisfy some of my requirements there. The other thing that you look at is towing and payload have increased by two jills. Oh yeah, she, it's in this article here. She brought it up. She's got the uh, <laughs> five things to know. So two jills. So jill is about 95 pounds. So towing and payload have increased by 200 pounds. That's a huge issue that I brought up in the Ram TRX is that the Ram TRX has virtually no payload. It's like a thousand pounds. And so you can't really tow much with that, even though some people will. You're not really good like taking out for a camping trip. You can't tow a big trailer with it. So with the Ford Raptor, it allows you to have a little more towing, a little more payload, a little more range, better power to weight ratio. So you can see where I'm going here. It's again, I understand no V8 is gonna get people fired up, but there is some benefits here. The other thing that looking at is that a V8 will be coming eventually, we think. We're sort of positive. The Raptor R is coming. And when Ford has talked about the high output V6 that's in the 2021 Ford Raptor in press releases, they've always said at, at the end, comma, Ford Raptor R is coming. So from Ford's standpoint, and I kind of get excited about this because well, I had to sit around and think about this a little bit. I was kind of fired up. I did the backgrounder last week and I was like, man, no V8, that's just boring. And I sat back and thought about it a little bit. So what Ford is doing here is they're gonna create, they're gonna update the Raptor, which is one of, the, one of their best selling vehicles, one of their iconic vehicles they've had. They're gonna update that to make it have better, you know, features that really attract some customers and, you know, make it more competitive with the TRX. But then they're also gonna build an additional Halo product on top of that. So now they're gonna go, yeah, no, Raptor is just a cool truck. Our Raptor R is now the competitive TRX. And so they're able to take this truck at 54, 56,000, whatever they're gonna end up price point. And now they can come back with a Raptor R that is gonna be more lust worthy. People are gonna wait for this and that's gonna start in the 70 range. So they did both. And so they were able to not only build up momentum for the Ford Raptor, some people are gonna still like this. It's kind of like the Bronco, Bronco Sports. Some people are gonna want the Bronco, some people want the Bronco Sport. Ford's offering another choice here, giving them additional truck to sell, giving additional uh, lust after Halo product. And so I think it's a really interesting thing they're doing here. Another thing they're, they're looking at is looking at the sales volume. That Raptor R won't be as high sales volume as Raptor is. And if you remember, Ford has killed off most of their cars, and so they're gonna really have a cafe problem meeting fuel economy limits. So I tend to think that played in the, in the Raptor as well, as looking at you know, how much volume they're selling Raptor, they gotta make sure to keep that volume kind of low versus their 2.7 F-150, trying to get better fuel economy out of that and getting those better fuel economy numbers. So I think cafe had a little bit of play in this as well. But I do think I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not so uh, against it anymore. And I think you get the five reasons. You get power to weight ratio, 
you get better fuel economy with even the better tank, bigger tank size and the better fuel economy of, of the EcoBoost engine. You get better towing, you get better payload, and then you get the fifth thing, the reason it's not a big deal, is the Raptor R is coming. So those are my thoughts on the 2021 Ford Raptor. I'm really excited to take it out and drive it. Um, big fan of the Raptor, big fan of what they're doing here. I'm really gonna be curious what the 37s do for the ride quality and for fuel economy. I think it's a really interesting play to go bigger tires but give the pitch to better fuel economy. Interesting, but so let me know your thoughts below. Am I way off the planet? Am I just being an idiot? What are your thoughts? Comment below. Make sure you check the video out over here. Website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.